Hi guys, welcome back once again. Uh, I hope all of you are fine, dear friends. As you are now uh, knowing that uh, we are discussing about the blood supply of the lower limbs. So up to now in the previous lecture we have recorded about uh, the blood supply of the lower limb up to the uh, knee joint, right? So we have recorded about the thigh, the branches of uh, the arteries which are present in thigh region, in the femoral region. Then we recorded about the <coughs> arteries which are present in the knee region. Now we are going to discuss about the branches of the arteries which are present in the leg region, right? As you know, our lower limb is divided into three important parts, right? First of all, there is the thigh region, right? Then there is, uh, dear friends, the leg region, right? and then there is the foot region right so this is the foot right so upper lower limb is divided into thigh region <coughs> leg and foot so we have discussed the branches of arteries up to here here is our knee joint knee joint now we are going to discuss and record about the branches of arteries which are present in the leg, right? The interior compartments of the leg and the posterior compartments of the leg we will discuss right now here, okay? Now look at these diagrams, friends. As you can see here, we see that uh, uh, this is the tibia and this is the fabula, right? And here our tibia is present on the right side, uh, on the left side and uh, sorry fabula is present on the left side and tibia is present on the right side right so this shows this picture shows the interior view and this picture shows the posterior view right so first of all let me mention this that this is our posterior view right and here is our anterior view Now in the anterior view, we can see there is one artery coming down up to the dorsal surface of the foot, right? So this artery is called the anterior tibial artery, right? We will see the, 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 the branches of this artery right now. In the next lecture, we will see all these branches. This is the posterior tibial artery and this is the fabular artery. Clear friends? So in the posterior view, we can see two arteries which are coming down, right? So these are uh, showing the blood supply of the leg in the posterior compartments, right? And this view shows the interior view, right? Now let us see all the, uh, the uh, let us see uh, the, about the branches of the anterior tibial artery. So first of all, everyone knows that this is our popliteal artery. <coughs> this is our popliteal artery. Look carefully. As this is the anterior view, so the popliteal artery goes down to the popliteal fossa, up to the popliteous muscle, right? And as it is going behind this tibia bone, that's why I have mentioned it in dotted manner, right? Now you can see here that this popliteal artery goes off two branches. One branch is here and the other branch is here. You can see this is represented in dotted manner and now it is shown in dark manner, right? So it means that <coughs> And this artery is uh, bifurcating from this popliteal artery in the posterior aspects of this uh, uh, tibia and then it comes anteriorly, right? So if we look from the lateral view, it will be like this. This is our popliteal artery and this is our tibial artery coming down in the anterior compartments of the leg, right? So it comes anteriorly. This is our, th th this will be our uh, knee joint and this is our anterior leg right and this is this area is our popliteal fossa and this is posterior leg right so look carefully this is our popliteal artery and this is our tibial artery 
So the tibial artery bifurcates, separates from the popliteal artery and comes to the anterior compartments of the leg. Right? So it goes inferior anteriorly to the leg and supplies blood to the anterior compartment and to the interior parts of the leg uh, side by side and goes down to the dorsal surface of the foot. Clear friends? Now let us see the branches of this artery. So look carefully. This is our popliteal artery. This is our tibiofibular trunk, right? Why it is called trunk? I will tell you right now. This is our tibiofibular trunk. Now look at this trunk here. Clear friends? Look, this is our popliteal artery. It comes down and gives an anterior tibial artery. It goes anteriorly and enters the anterior compartment on that side, on the anterior side. And this artery, this one, this one is our tibiofibular trunk. And this trunk gives a fibular artery and a posterior tibial artery. Right? That's why from here up to here, this is known as the tibiofibular trunk so tibiofibular trunk we will see in the next video it will give a branch which is called the fibular artery and it will give a branch which is called posterior tibial artery now we are concerned with this anterior tibial artery right friends so here is our anterior tibial artery that's one <coughs> so this is anterior tibial artery Right. Let us see about the branches and uh, all the uh, important things regarding this anterior tibial artery. So first of all, point number one, what is anterior tibial artery? We should know about it. Anterior tibial artery and its branches. We should name all those branches which are arising from this artery. So it is a branch of Popliteal artery. First thing which is very important branch of popliteal artery. The first thing, right? And it is also known as the anterior artery of the leg. It is also known as anterior artery of leg. Right, friends? Then from where does this artery arise is or one thing which is very important that it supplies this artery is responsible to supply blood to anterior compartment of the leg anterior compartment of leg clear friends where does this artery arises what is its origin so this artery arises in the popliteal fossa right near the popliteous muscle from popliteal artery right friends so it arises from popliteal artery here where near the Popliteus muscle. Done. The next important thing, what are the branches from this artery? What are its branches? So look carefully friends, I will show you all these branches in detail. The first branch which arises from this artery, from this anterior tibial artery is this one look carefully this is anterior tibial artery and it gives off this branch so this branch is called the posterior tibial recurrent artery right well, let me name it here the posterior tibial recurrent artery so the first branch which arises from the uh, anterior tibial artery is the posterior tibial recurrent artery. Look carefully. The first and important thing is that this artery is responsible to supply blood to the tibiofibular joint. This is our tibiofibular 
joint so it supplies blood to the tibiofibular joint and it anastomoses with the anti inferior lateral genicular artery i have discussed about this these genicular arteries in my previous lectures you can watch all of them in detail right so first of all this posterior tibial artery is a branch of anterior sorry this posterior tibial recurrent artery is a branch of anterior tibial artery right branch of anterior tibial artery done then the next point it anastomoses with the inferior lateral genicular artery it anastomose with inferior lateral genicular artery clear you can see here it is going up that's why we call it recurrent right so it's anastomosing with the inferior lateral genicular artery and what is its function it supplies blood mainly to the tibiofibular joint so supplies blood to tibiofibular joint <coughs> right friends so this first branch was the posterior uh, tibial recurrent artery now the next branch from this artery is the anterior tibial recurrent artery that is anterior tibial recurrent artery right friends so this is the second branch and what is this artery this artery is also a branch of the anterior tibial artery right and it look carefully it goes superiorly that's why we call it recurrent and it anastomoses with the uh, fabular circumflex artery here we can see this artery this is our fabular circumflex artery it goes anteriorly and supplies the neck and head of the fabula right so this is our fabular circumflex artery this is the posterior view this is the anterior view you can see this artery posteriorly arises and goes around the neck of this uh, fibula anteriorly look here it came anteriorly now this artery is going and anastomosing with this uh, uh, yeah fibular circumflex artery and it supplies blood to the knee joint and to the lateral aspects of the knee joint and the skin of that area also right friends so look carefully it is a branch of uh, we can see this the, the anterior tibial artery it does need to be written here so it anastomose with what it anastomose with yeah fibular circumflex artery done and the next important part what does it supplies it supplies blood to what to mostly to patella right here's the patella and it gives of branches to that it supplies blood to patella and knee joint so these are the two branches from the anterior tibial artery now the next branch which arises from this artery is called or called the muscular branches right so the third group of arteries which arise are called the muscular arteries clear friends so there are several muscular arteries there may be five or six muscular arteries which arise so i'm writing as several arteries okay you can see here these are our muscular arteries which arise from this uh, <coughs> anterior tibial artery here you can see right these arteries are responsible to supply blood to the muscles of the anterior compartment right 
and to the skin and fascia of the anterior compartment also so these arteries are there are several muscular arteries which are which arise from the anterior tibial artery and they anastomose with the with what look carefully friends this is our fibular artery and this is our posterior tibial artery so this fibular artery also gives branches which are called muscular branches and this posterior tibial artery also gives off muscular branches and they go interiorly right they come here and these muscular branches which are arising from the anterior tibial artery they anastomose with them right so let me make a diagram here <clears throat> for example this is our posterior tibial artery and here is our anterior tibial artery so these are the branches from the the muscular branches from posterior tibial artery and these are the muscular branches from the anterior tibial artery and they come and anastomose like this right like this so this is our anterior tibial artery this is posterior tibial artery they give off muscular branches and they make anastomosis and here is also our fibular artery so the fibular artery also gives off muscular branches and they make anastomosis with them right so we say that this anterior tibial artery the muscular branches from it anastomose with the muscular branches of the posterior tibial artery and the fibular artery right friends so they anastomose with <coughs> muscular branches of posterior tibial artery and fibular artery clear friends and what does they supply they supply blood to the uh, muscles of the interior compartment right friends so they supply blood to muscles of <coughs> anterior compartment done clear friends then the next branches which arise from this anterior tibial artery are called the perforating branches perforating branches There are about four or five perforating branches which arise from this anterior tibial artery. You can make in your diagram like this, right? So these are the perforating branches which arise from the anterior tibial artery, right? And these are responsible to supply blood to the skin and fascia of the leg anteriorly, right? So several perforating branches, first thing and they are responsible to supply blood they supply blood to skin of anterior leg right friends one very important thing that i am going to tell you guys here that my dear friends i am discussing only about the blood supply I'm not going to discuss about the relations of these arteries with other muscles and the fascia and the ligaments which are here. We are just focusing on the arteries which are present in the upper limb I have recorded in the lower limb I'm recording right now. And here you can see I haven't drawn the muscles, I haven't drawn the fascia, I haven't drawn the, those ligaments which are present here. And I'm not discussing about the relations of these arteries with other parts, with, other, with these bones, with these muscles which are present here. Because that will be a little complicated for us to understand the blood supply. So I'm just recording about the blood supply, that, uh, that's why I have mentioned only the arteries then we will discuss about the venous drainage that will be seen in coming lectures and then we will also discuss about the innervations of all the these parts inshallah we will see in detail uh, in the coming lectures so for clear understanding i'm just drawing the arteries right so that it could be easily understood about the blood supply right so the fourth branch is the perforating branches now the fifth branch which arises from this artery you can see here friends let's come down right look carefully this artery is coming to the 
anterior lower or distal part of this leg and it is giving two branches like this look carefully this is the branch which is going medially and here is a branch which is coming laterally right so look carefully this branch is called the medial malleolar branch right so it is in the anterior aspects of the lower leg that's why we call it the interior and it is in the medial aspect that's why we call it medial and it is going to the malleolus that's why we call it malleolar so this is anterior medial malleolar artery or branch and this one or this one we can call also this is the lateral anterior malleolar artery right so they make anastomosis as we will see right now so what is the fifth branch that is the anterior medial malleolar artery Clear? so this is the fifth branch which arises from this anterior tibial artery and this one is our anterior medial malleolar artery or branch clear friends so this artery arises five centimeter proximal to the ankle joint right so we say it arises five centimeter proximal to ankle joint clear friends and this artery supplies blood to the ankle joint medially to the medial aspects of the ankle joint right so it supplies blood to which part to medial aspects of ankle joint or we will say to ankle joint medially right and it makes an astomosis with look friends this is our posterior tibial artery right and it gives a branch like this so what is this branch this branch is called the posterior medial malleolar artery the interior medial malleolar artery is the branch of anterior tibial artery and the posterior medial malleolar artery is the branch of the posterior tibial artery so this and um, this uh, posterior medial malleolar artery and this anterior medial malleolar artery will make anastomosis right okay so they anastomose uh, like uh, we will see in the next lecture these anastomoses right so look they anastomose with branches of posterior tibial artery so which branches of posterior tibial artery the same branch here look the anterior medial malleolar artery is the branch of anterior tibial artery and the posterior medial malleolar artery is the branch of posterior tibial artery so this branch and that branch from anterior tibial artery they will make anastomosis right so anterior medial malleolar artery is a branch of this anterior tibial artery now the next branch as i told you is the anterior lateral malleolar artery so let us write that here the sixth branch and the last branch the sixth one so anterior <coughs> lateral malleolar artery look carefully it's a branch of what it's a branch of the anterior tibial artery so it goes to the <coughs> lateral aspects of the ankle joint right so it supplies blood this artery arises also from the anterior tibial artery so it supplies blood to lateral lateral ankle joint clear friends and it also makes anastomosis with this uh, 
posterior lateral malleolar artery which is a branch of the fabular artery right friends so it makes an astomose with branch of fibular artery which branch of fibular artery posterior lateral malleolar branch right so this was about the branches of the anterior tibial artery let, let us name them this first branch okay if we can see them this first branch is called the uh, posterior tibial recurrent artery the second branch is called the anterior tibial recurrent artery these branches are called the muscular branches then some perforating branches also then there is anterior medial uh, malleolar artery and then there is anterior lateral malleolar artery so these are the branches of the uh, anterior tibial artery now in the next lecture we will discuss about the branches of the arteries which are present in the posterior aspects of the leg those are the posterior tibial artery and the fabular artery so don't go anywhere be with us to watch that lecture also thank you so much